Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you some of my investments for phase three. Uh, I wanna like, for starters, say that um, some of the investments, uh, probably in I, like 75% or more of them, I've actually learned from Solheim, uh, from his guide. So first of all, like I'm not sponsored by anything from him or at all. I just want to make a like a well one of those shout outs or whatever. And just to like acknowledge how good at he how good he is at the game. Um, he has a lot of tips and tricks and like he uh, has a lot of experience in making gold compared to me. So uh, yeah, I learned a lot from uh, all of his guides, pretty much. I had like the this one, the classic one. I had the, I think he has a TBC, uh, the Lich King one, the Retail one, and uh, he has the Cataclysm one. I haven't bought it yet because I can't really afford it at the moment. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to like shout out that most of the, the ones that I'm going to show you are from his... It's, it's because of him really and uh, if you buy if you buy that uh, guide over there especially especially if you're playing like season of discovery you'll get like a private uh, you you can get invited to a private discord server that he has where he uh, has like early access to all his videos so a lot of the ones uh, a lot of the one the investments that I'm gonna show you I actually learned like I maybe like one or two weeks advance from like before he went uh, he made them public on his YouTube so that was like before the prices went up so I'm gonna show you some of them is like paying off by the looks of it so yeah I just wanted to shout him up so yeah Make sure to follow Fulton Solheim and I could put a link in the description below on to this guide over there. So thank you Solheim for making such good content and let's continue. So we are here on our investor over here and I'm first gonna show you the mailbox because it's uh, pretty full and I'm pretty ready. So I'm all, uh, wait, first I'm actually gonna show you this. So this is the, the whole, like my journey throughout Season of Discovery so far from launch up until now. And like I said before, it's like, I don't really like to hold on to gold that much anymore. Um, I, I mostly like make gold so I can try out stuff and like I, I want to have the gold to make more gold so this is was like the launch of it and then it was this was like right when the phase 2 released so it bumped up in price and ever since I got to like 232 I started to invest in some of these items already because they were already out like the some of the early investment videos and stuff like that and yeah just some phase three items that i bought so yeah i'm this is my mailbox um can show you some it's like super full and you're gonna see that my most the, the one that I have most on is this one. I have over 3,000, but they are like on its way from my Warlock to be sent here. So they are coming. So I have around 3,000 of these True Silver War. So that's the first one. And you might ask, why did why would you invest in True Silver War? And the reason is quite simple. And it's actually Solheim again that uh like that i know this of so the true silver ore uh my average price is like nine silver and 30 
uh, 63 copper and if you buy the true silver ore well you need a miner of course because you so you can smelt it later but as uh, as long as you're buying it below 12 silver you're gonna make a profit because a true silver ore uh, well a a true silver bar sells for 12 silver and my average is nine well around nine and a half uh, silver so i'm gonna make profit out of this like no no questions asked so let's put up a calculator here and i'm just gonna show you why is it not showing oh yeah it is so let's just do a quick cal calculation here let's put uh, the well let's say that i have three thousand it, it it could probably be like 10 silver because i bought a little bit higher so let's say that it's 10 silver so we're going to use decimal as if it was a gold so 0 0.1 is 10 silver to a gold so times 3000 so that's around 300 gold i spent wait uh there we go yeah so so around 300 gold i'd say so and then let's say take 0 0.12 times 3000 okay so basically with with only smelting all of this and if i would vendor it i already made 60 gold from just buying stuff and smelting it and selling but obviously i'm not gonna do that because the bars is gonna be way better than just 12 silver on the auction house because if we go over there already, it is probably going to be around like 50 plus silver. So let's do like this. We go true silver bar. So yeah, see, it's, it's almost 50 silver. So if we would sell all of these 0 0.43 times 3000. Okay, minus the 300 so that's a 990 gold if I would sell it all at this current price but I think it's gonna go up even more most likely but yeah and I can craft stuff with it and just make profit out of it because there's a lot of items you can make out of it wait I, maybe not a lot but there's a few items that you can make so that's like one of the investments uh, another investments uh, is the stone scale eel so my a average price is two silver and 26 copper and currently it sells for 14 silver each almost 15 silver so what's that let's uh 14.96 minus 2. Point, what did i say 2.26 so that's a 12, 12 silver profit if I would sell it right now. And I currently have 462. Okay, wait. Uh, I have to make that into decimal. So 0 uh, 0.1496. Uh, times what did I say oh well never mind like it, it's a huge profit the it's more than 10x I think let's do it like this instead 14 times 96 divided by 2.26 okay the other way around 2.26 divided by 14 point there no it's the other way 14 there Yeah, so it's a 10, it's a 6 times. So I'm, I, it's, it's a 10, 6x, almost 7x investment here from just this stone scale eel. And you use it to, I think you make like one of the oils.
for alchemy. I don't really remember which one it is, but it's still a profit. And then we have the elemental air, which is my average at the moment. I'm going to hurry up and buy the, out that one. These, I mean. There we go. So, the average, uh, my average is 14 silver. And I have, at, well, I have more now, so I have 63. It's not that much, but still profit. So, it's like almost a 2x if I would sell it all right now. Um, so that's elemental air. Then I have a few stone, uh, the core element, uh, core of earth, and I have 25 of them. My average is six silver and 47 copper, and they sell for 69 at the moment. Um, I've tried to sell a few, but don't, they don't really sell yet because they're not used for anything really yet. So, but yeah, that's one of them. Moving on, we have uh, Elemental Earth. So, my average, the smart average buy price is 5 silver and 42 copper. So, that's a 2x right now. But, like like I said, I when I bought all of these, uh, I'm going to show you at the end what I like how I've done it. Uh, over like pretty much since the launch of phase two I've started to like invest because I had made a TSM group with all the items that is like relevant for phase three and Yeah, just some other couple of good items that I bought for vendor price But then we have the golden uh, uh, Sansam And they sell for one gold each right now um, and I have uh, the average price of 14, well, around 15 silver. So that's a 70, what, that's an 82 silver profit each. But I only have two of them, so me. And I sold 30 of them, unfortunately, for uh, 7 silver. I don't really know why, but yeah. And the last one I purchased was uh, 76 days ago, apparently. I'm not really sure if that, like, is relevant. Well, ah, let's just j jump over that one. The Star Ruby we have, for example, uh, has 1x. And then we have uh, Arthur's Tears. Which is one of the items that I I talked about in a video because there's gonna be like one of these flasks that you can like put on. I think you can put them on weapons and stuff, but they're usually like used all the way up to level sixty because they give like a debuff or whatever on the the target that like physical damage deal x like a little bit more damage and then we have the purple lotus where i have about a thousand of them and my smart buy is i think i'm gonna buy some more ah not really so my smart buy is four silver and 60 copper and it's seven gold, uh, seven silver right now, so it's pretty much up there. But yeah, and then we have the black pearl, which is not that great of an investment for me, but I think it will. I think it will be pushed up. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I think I'm actually gonna buy some more of these. Because I feel that like the price was a bit appealing. Since it's only like seven. Eh, there we go. I bought every one that had the 15 silver and below. So currently then I have 172 of them. So the smart buy now, it went up a little bit, I think. 
but yeah it's 11 uh, silver and 77 copper and yeah if it sells for 20 that's like a 2x and I'm not gonna show what items they make but yeah it's just relevant for like different kind of items and stuff like that for phase 3 then we have the jade um, it's a very speculative I think like it's it's used for a bit right now it's gonna be used a little bit later but I feel like it's it has been a little bit over farmed because here's an example there's a load of them on the auction house and the lowest the, the cheapest one is seven silver and 62 copper and it vendors for seven so for me it's like even if it would stay at this price I would invest in it because it's just a few coppers here and there and sure it could lead to potential like a few gold in the loss because the it's just a cop it's just a few coppers here and there but if we look at it purchased it's like 10 almost 11 gold I spent on the jade for yeah it's it's a little bit more I know that because it says pur purchased but I have more on the in the mail but I can't fit in them all so but yeah and then we have the thick spider silk which is the same thing it vendors for yeah you see it's even even less and I think these ones drops from the dust shallow Mars spider form gonna buy a few more while I'm at it okay I have five silver left so I need to make some more gold because I only have around 40 gold on the server right now I uh, just want to like show you that I diversified my well investment or like portfolio so my hopes is that uh, this one is gonna skyrocket even more uh, like hopefully like uh, how should I put it it's like I don't need like unlimited amount of gold and stuff like that I'm just happy if I make profit and stuff like that I'm not like the best gold farmer or like inventor out there but yeah, I just I just make it for fun, and just I just want to share everything that I do, be just as transparent as possible with everything, every every single thing I do. So let's see if there is anything else. Just gonna make sure that my bags are completely full from all of these. I can't fit anything more and um, I think I have stuff on the bank as well yeah you see here's the rest of the purple lotus <laughs> but they're gonna be used for a lot of stuff and let's actually check it while I'm at it it's gonna be a very long video I'm sorry for this but I just wanted to show you all my investments so reagents for yeah it's gonna be used for a lot of things uh, like we have it's used right it's already used uh, for like making the philosopher's stone and stuff like that and then we have the dreamless sleep potion uh, elixir of dream vision lesser mana oil and we have the brilliant mana oil and stuff like that and I have a feeling that either the lesser lesser mana oil or brilliant mana oil is going to be a part of the waylight supply as well so yeah that's just yeah I, I i'm very confident with the purple lotus investment so before i leave you i'm gonna show you so you can clip this or like screenshot it with what i got in my like phase three investment string 
so these items are the ones that I bought throughout the like some of them has been there from phase one even like a few of them like the bolt of room cloth and stuff like that and what I've just did with using TSM is just search from the buyout and a few of these items has been like for vendor price like the jade like just that's basically what I've been doing really and just looking if there's an item I have spoken like talked about that is sh that should be here <laughs> and like what I've been trying to do is to see like okay so let's say the jade for example like I mentioned before it is like seven silver and 61 copper but the vendor price is seven silver so it's basically the same and a few times it's had it has been like very very close to the vendor price like the jade for example so it felt like it's a very easy investment to do and as you can see here is the whole list pretty much so I have also uh, I, I really regret not investing more into this the bolt of room cloth but as you can see, here's the same thing. The my smart average buy has been 24 silver and the vendor for 20. So it, it's like a guaranteed that it's gonna go up in price because at the moment it's 85 silver. So already it's like, a, what was that 4X if I would sell it right now? But if we take a look at what the current one is, uh, mage, weave. Let's see, here it is, bolt of mage weave. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, here we go. Already, like the it, this one, like it was guaranteed to be, like twice the since this was uh, this was the price and the bolt of room cloth has been cheaper than the bolt of mage weave throughout like a very long time it has been a like a very easy investment to make because you're gonna make profit out of it so yeah um it's like a short video of what i've been investing into and again, make sure to follow him. Uh, he has helped me a lot with uh, like ways to think about the game. And yeah, just learned a lot from him. And I hope to see you in the next video in the future. Bork Bork.